Hello, Katya here for Finnabed team. Today I have like um, a wooden piece, like some kind of MDF piece of, from uh, some furniture left over. And I have chipboards and stencils and um, different items, what I will use. I will start by painting my uh, MDF piece with white heavy uh, gesso and I'm, and I'm brushing it all over. And when it's dry, because you see the background color still shows, I want to add a little bit texture. So I'm taking like a kitchen sponge and adding a thick coat of the, the gesso and at the same time it gives like a fine texture but not too much you can do it to add even more texture if you like and to add some and have something else than a sponge to get like the texture that you like but i wanted fine texture now i'm having two shades of gold of uh, wax H brass and vintage gold. Uh, it doesn't show if you have one, uh, but I've had the feeling to add like two shades. Uh, I changed my mind during the process. It's like that and it's totally okay. When I'm adding now texture, I want to add a little bit more grunginess to my piece and I'm don't want to add too much. Uh, it won't, it's only like a thin uh, layer, but you see it's not totally white. It's a little bit grungy. Now I have this beautiful stencil bind with wallpaper uh, and with the uh, effect paste, the color mermaid uh, I'm adding. If you have like uh, this effect paste, be sure to have a stencil with like bigger holes, bit, uh, bigger pattern. Uh, if you have too small pattern, it will not show. So I'm adding it and it gives beautiful effect. I have a piece of cardboard and I want to add like one more dimension and to make it more 3D effect. So I tear off some pieces because I want to add uh, like an extra effect. Just to play with different textures. And uh, yes, uh, I'm painting it and not very well, but a little bit to have like a white color pieces. And be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel and please leave us a comment to let us know what you think. Oh, I have the beautiful impasto paint in jade color and uh, the minty color from the patina effect and I mix them. I use effect paste to get a little bit fine texture but I also use my impasto paint. It's very thick and uh, uh, gives fine and rich color. I'm taking my kitchen sponge again and adding color on these beautiful shipboards. Um, and this is a really, really quick way to add color on your shipboards. You can using a brush but sometimes uh, I feel I will go quickly and that's great. I even use the kitchen sponge to add color on my cardboard. Yeah, you see I color them and it doesn't need to be perfect. Still the cardboard shows and the white shows. Now it's time to glue everything and I need a little bit dimension so I'm using the leftovers from the shipboard like giving like a little bit 3d effect so it will stand up when you're doing like that it gives you like a 
extra shadowing, the extra effect, and it's more easy to add even more uh, layers underneath. And you see me working here because I'm uh, going with the flow and you see when you're using gel like here I use 3d gloss gel you can change your mind like I'm doing I'm lifting up and tearing something off and that's the best thing with the uh, gels that it takes time to dry and you can change your mind lift up and adding and taking off and on and off so yes Please leave me a comment what you think about the process and uh, about the final result. I would be so, so happy. Okay. And now I'm thinking about the composition. I'm still using the gel. I have like a die cut piece uh, in the center. And again, I'm lifting it up and adding a little bit like shipboard because I want a little bit coming up, not so much, even if it's a half centimeter, ah, that gives the extra effect. I have some pencils. Yeah, why not use what you have a lot of? of? I have some pencils and I'm gluing them uh, to give like extra dimension in the background. Also having some thinner embellishments and metal embellishments and adding them a little bit uh, to give like a balance to my composition. And you can see I'm placing them like giving some kind of uh, balance to my centerpiece. Now I'm uh, painting my pencils green with the same uh, paint that I have prepared for the background. Yes, don't be afraid to blend your own mixes, pastes with anything you have. Now I have some pieces from the molds and the grungy frames uh, and I will paint them. I also have like a flower from Prima. Uh, no, a bird from Prima. So sorry. And if you make them from resin, be sure to add like heavy gesso on the top so the color will stay. Sometimes you even need to add like two um, coats so uh, the if you do dry, dry brushing or adding something, you're sure that the paint will stay. Now I have a little bit paint uh, and gesso on my brush. So I'm using that for dry brushing a little bit on my uh, project. Uh, carefully and not too much paint. And suddenly I get some visitor, my inspector, my, uh, my cat. It's in a checking out if I'm doing a good work and a little bit helpful. So, okay, now I paint my frames, small frames, painting them with the same at the background. And uh, you're starting to see my uh, items. And when they are dry, I'm gluing them with 3D gloss gel. And you see the biggest ones are going where my focal point is and the other ones, it, I will repeat them. And I using like odd numbers. I will not have two frames or four frames. I'm using one, three or five. And now I'm trying to add my bird for my focal point and uh, title the label to dream without fear and uh, now i'm adding like a little bit of color to the bird and i'm using the sparks color the unicorn's hair and i'm painting my bird and i spray some water on it and when you do that on the sparks the mica powder will stay on the top so i'll leave it like that and it will be only a little bit of the unicorn's hair, goldish color. 
it will be the mic on the top. I use a little bit of the sparks for like highlighting and uh, giving the extra touch to my project. And I'm using the burnt sienna, a liquid acrylic paint to give it more grungy effect, more dirty effect. So and spraying a little bit, only a little bit water. Yeah, when everything is on the place and my project is not dry, I'm doing the dry brushing again. Uh, and that is to make the project comes together. Right now it's a little bit uh, going apart and this you can make more how much you want. But I think it makes like a great effect to add on some places. You don't need to go as heavy everywhere. Add more white on some places and more less on other places to give it like a, a look that you like. Now the last touches. I have some empty gaps under my composition. So I decide to add some pearls. Uh, I'm gluing everything with soft gloss gel and because I have some empty spaces to make it hold better and to make like small details uh, I like to add small details or different items on the end to make the final touches so I'm adding some pearls here and there and I choose the teal uh, emerald patina colors and then I have some extra of the soft gloss gel and I'm sprinkled some gold glitter here and there and yeah I like the effect and uh, that's my project I will leave everything for drying uh, but I'm happy with it it will come the title on the final touches and have a great day. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.